So here's where I find myself at the end of another set of lessons on the Laser Defender module. So I hit play here. Let's see. Where's my enemy? There he is. So I can create a whole bunch of enemies as part of this wave. They follow a path. You can see the path over here. And uh, so they're following that path. I can't destroy them yet, but they go around through a path and then they disappear. So uh, follows the waves. We're doing that via these two waves here in the enemy spawner um, empty uh, that holds the enemy spawner script. Oh. What's interesting is this script, uh, enemy spawner. No, uh, right. So that one, that one has the. Uh, sorry. Uh, where was I? The enemy spawner. So this holds the two waves. Um, but actually, we've got. Let me look at the scripts here. We've got oh wave config right. This is a script scriptable object instead of um, the other ones, which are mono behaviors. I have to look up again exactly why we did that and understanding when we can do that and when we don't. But by doing this um, create asset menu thing here, we can create enemy configs, enemy wave configs. So um, right. So these different waves can have different configurations, different speeds, different amounts of enemies, all that type of stuff to make our Galaxian Galaga style game. Um, so that's where we are now. See where we end up.